Hello everyone, this is Tony Casa from Toronto Apologetics. I want to announce to you an exciting new course that I'm going to be teaching starting in the new year. We're going to be doing a course on logic, logic for Christians, critical thinking, and the people of God. How to logically articulate our case for the gospel, and how to logically engage those who are not Christians or those who are antagonistic or are against the Christian gospel. We are going to learn the various laws of logic. We're going to learn how to formulate these questions, these arguments. We're going to look at the various forms of logic where we can apply these principles in our Christian witness. And at the same time, to learn some of the logical fallacies that we customarily here coming from those who oppose the gospel or who oppose Christ and so forth and, and uh, oppose the existence of God and are atheists. This course is going to start in the new year. It's going to run for eight consecutive Sunday evenings beginning on January the 23rd, 2022, and it will run until Sunday, March the 13th, 2022. It will run from 7 p.m. till 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And as I said, they will be live. They will be uh, brought to you on the platform, uh, Zoom. But for those who cannot attend uh, because you're in a different time zone, or even for those who can attend but may miss a class or two, the wonderful thing is that we record all our lectures. And so this course is going to be a little different than the other courses that I've taught. This course will be a little more interactive. Uh, we will be using a particular uh, booklet for this course called Logic for Christians, Critical Thinking for the People of God by Zach Lee. And there will be uh, a link to that booklet in the description box, along with uh, instructions on how to register for this course, this booklet is very affordable. It's available either in hard copy or on Kindle. So some of the things that we're going to cover in this course, uh, based on this small booklet, we're gonna be dealing with what is logic. We're gonna talk about absolute truth. We're gonna talk about the laws of logic, uh, God and logic. Uh, we're gonna be talking about the, the presuppositions that we all have, the difference between a deductive and an inductive argument. We're going to be looking at what's called logical syllogisms, which has to do with how logical arguments are structured. And we're also going to deal with logical fallacies. You, you may have heard of some of these, like the fallacy of false dichotomy, the fallacy of equivocation, uh, the straw man fallacy, the ad hominem fallacy, the red herring fallacy, the division fallacy, the composition fallacy, and on and on and on it goes. We'll be learning a lot of these various fallacies, but the most fascinating part of this course is we're going to notice that a lot of these issues are right in the Bible themselves, and that Jesus himself and prophets and apostles use these forms of arguments, and the Bible also shows us where these logical fallacies also come into play. Now, let me just say that you may feel a little overwhelmed that this course may sound a little over your head or over the top. Please be assured that in this course, I will be bringing this material to a level that the lay person is comfortable with uh, in, a, in a way that they'll be able to understand it uh, in, a, in a cogent manner. And so please don't be intimidated by uh, the, the idea that this may, may be uh, too academic for you or over your head. Um, we always make our courses uh, palatable uh, to those who, who may be out of seminary or school for many years and maybe senior Christians and so forth. That is not an issue here. Uh, we're able to take this down to a level that is understandable. So we are going to be placing the registration information in the description box. Um, the, the way to register, how to connect with us and so forth and so on. And so we really encourage you to not only register for the course, we also encourage you to share this with other uh, folks, friends or relatives uh, this course is going to be a great blessing to many. I'm excited about it. I'm really looking forward to uh, this course, and I'm really looking forward to uh, learning uh, with you, alongside of you. And so, as I said, uh, I would strongly encourage uh, that you consider this course. Uh, 
um, and look forward to seeing you, God willing, uh, on January 23rd. Take care and God bless you.